The Northeast's first dedicated tick clinic opened today on Long Island. This clinic in Suffolk County will treat tick bites and diagnose tick-borne illnesses. CBS 2's Carolyn Gustoff reports it comes amid a significant increase in tick bites and infections. Let's take a look at her hair. Marina Rutherford brought her little ones to the region's first tick-borne disease clinic, along with bags of ticks she found where her kids play. They're just everywhere. Every time I do another check or another bath, I find more. It's yeah. terrifying. Making her one of the first visitors here, now open as an office after years of operating as just a hotline, Stony Brook Southampton Hospital's Resource Center will diagnose children and adults. There are other diseases that can mimic Lyme. It's important for us to think about them, order the right tests, know how to interpret those tests, and then treat. The center will house specialists and a powerful microscope for tick identification. We're one stop shopping for all things tick. Seeing a doctor and getting a definitive diagnosis and lab tests if you need it. We also have tick removal kits that we give you. And education. Suffolk had nearly 2,700 cases of Lyme disease last year, a five fold increase over 2021. On the rise nationwide, celebrities have gone public with the potentially crippling effects. There are days you wake up and you know you're not going to function well. You'll wake up, you'll be dizzy, you might be nauseous. East End resident Jane held after a decade of Lyme disease symptoms is also battling alpha gale, a serious allergic condition caused by the Lone Star tick. Ticks are spreading and particularly the Lone Star tick is probably spreading the fastest and it's a very aggressive tick and it will seek you out. An early accurate diagnosis is key. The longer you have an infection, not just Lyme, but any other infection, the more side effects or chronicity you will have. The Tick-Borne Disease Resource Center is open year-round by appointment. There is no off-season. These diseases can become apparent in the winter after going undiagnosed. In Hampton Bay's Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.